Welcome to the Dwayne Reed inside the Port Authority bus terminal. May I offer you a flu shot? Flu shot? Oh. Flu shot. Oh, I, I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, we're just grabbing a couple things for the bus ride to Boston. You know what? Uh, I'll get some milk. Pete Davidson showing off a drastic new look during his surprise return to Saturday Night Live. It would be ridiculous if nobody acknowledged that. Oh, people are acknowledging it. The comedian back to his old stomping grounds for a sketch with his pal John Mulaney, who was host. That, uh, that jug of milk in the little fridge behind you, I'll, I'll take that. You mean the gallon of milk surrounded by cans of twisted iced tea in the fridge that's hotter than the rest of the store? What? I need milk and I don't want to make a separate stop at the supermarket in Boston. Plus, look, it says organic. But fans can't help but notice Pete's big physical change. His arms nearly bare after they were previously covered in tattoos. Yeah, I, I started to get mine lasered off. Yeah, before the former SNL star started removing the ink, his body was covered in hundreds of tats. Check out Pete talking about his body art on Late Night with Seth Meyers in 2016. You pretty much sleeved both arms. Yeah, yeah I left the show with no sleeves and then came back with sleeves. And what was the, was the, did you just go tattoo crazy this summer? I don't know, I really like them, they're, they're cool. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I like them. Jump to 2020, he started the removal process. Pete sharing with Seth five years later, he was getting rid of them because of his acting career. I honestly never thought that I would get an opportunity to act and I, I love it a lot. And uh, it takes like three hours. You have to get there three hours earlier to cover all your tattoos. Cause for some reason people in movies they, they don't have them that right. much. So come. now I'm burning them off, but like burning them off is like worse than getting them. Pete's words of advice for anyone thinking about getting inked. Just make sure you really, really want it. I think that's a really important lesson is it's not just that one day you'll have them taken off. You will have to have them audibly described to you by a medical professional. Yeah, it's really embarrassing. <laughs> Are we keeping the owl that licks the Tootsie Pop? <laughs> Yes, actually, we are keeping that one. Uh, that is a keeper. <laughs> that one's a keeper. <laughs>